A DSLR is one of the cheapest ways to get a camera with interchangeable lenses to make beautiful professional photos and even videos. And the one I have is, in my opinion, amongst the best Nikon models to vlog with. But is it really? I'll share with you my experience with the Nikon 5500 after more than a year of vlogging with it. Damn. Welcome back to my channel. This Monday we'll be talking about my friend. It's been with me since 2016. I'm talking about the Nikon D5500. This video is a personal review and definitely not a professional one with all the details of this Nikon. It's more about the pros and cons of this camera for video shootings. Allez, on y va! The D5500 has a small and light body with an improved grip compared to other models. A faster processor, touch-enable LCD, flat picture control and built-in Wi-Fi. Oui, c'est important ça. Let's talk about the LCD screen for a bit. It's a fully rotatable touchscreen LCD display and let me tell you, it's very important for vloggers. Most of the Nikon's camera can at best flip vertically which isn't interesting especially when you need to add a microphone you won't be able to see your screen anymore the d5500 supports 1080 videos at 60 frames per second but now offers a flat picture control which allows for easier color grading in post-production one of the biggest flaws of this nikon c'est frustrant in video mode it's the autofocus it's so slow, c'est tellement long, many times inaccurate. It's trying to focus even though there isn't anything moving on the screen. It always goes back and forth, back and forth. Enfin, c'est fatigant. Incroyable, quoi. And with some lenses like the 17 to 55 at constant aperture of 2.8, the autofocus noise is just ah, enervant. Let's go back to one of my first videos to hear and see the autofocus in action. I'll put something on the screen like a marker each time you'll see and hear the autofocus. It's not a professional review, it's my own review as a newbie because I have never used a drone before. See how annoying it is? Even with the best conditions or even in automatic, it isn't ideal for vlogging. So what am I doing? I'm doing everything manual. And well, you know, with time you get used to it. hard when you're alone without anyone to help you for the focus. To always have a sharp image because I tend to move and it ends up blurry. Now tell me all about your cameras in the comment section just down below. What brand do you use and are you happy with the autofocus? I had fun chatting with you. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button. Thank you if you did subscribe already and I will see you next Monday. Salut!